Hi, this is Mike Haver. Thank you for asking me, what is a trespass? In Florida, trespass is a lesser included offense of burglary. In fact, if burglary had a son, then burglary's son's name would be trespass. The main difference between the two crimes in Florida is your intent. For you to commit a burglary, at the time that you enter, you must already have had the intent to commit another crime. But this does not hold true with trespass. With trespass, you just have to enter the property of another without permission or without authority to do so. In order to be convicted of trespass in Florida, the state has to prove that you willfully entered or remained someplace. And at that time, you did not have authority, license, or invitation from someone authorized to give you permission for you to be there. Or, if you did have license to be where you were, that you were directed by someone with legal authority to leave and you refused to do so. Just like a burglary, a trespass can occur at any sort of structure or conveyance, but unlike a burglary, trespass can also occur on other properties, such as an enclosed curtilage of a home, or a parking lot, or even a public area like a beach or a park, as long as there's notice to you not to enter or remain, or it was directly communicated or properly posted. Trespass is usually a first degree misdemeanor, but it can also be a second degree misdemeanor or a third degree felony. For example, if you're armed or you enter certain specific areas like a posted construction site, then your otherwise misdemeanor can be jacked up to a felony. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Michael A. Haber, PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more.